is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, bringing you another episode of the ongoing coverage of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. All right, so we got a lot to talk about today. Uh, so I kind of let things continue to cook and develop as far as the leaks go, mainly. So I, I like having kind of big episodes like this. Um, so you know, I like doing this. We're gonna talk about um, possible DLC information. We're gonna talk about uh, gym leaders. You know, there's one thing about the gym. Of course, if you wanna continue getting videos like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me, as well as follow me at twitter.com slash Mario, uh, rsmario128. Uh, like my video tweet, share my video tweet, and I will shout you out at the end of the video like today's candidate that we are going to shout out today as well as drop a comment down below to help the channel grow. Let's get into these leaks. All right, so we got some leaks. We're gonna start off with uh, the OG Ridley Q. So Ridley Q starts off with, uh, he says, Small Lives Evolution uh, is humanoid, has branches, his arms, neutral, not quite waifu-like, nor quite husbando-like. Kind of lame for me. Uh, just another plant humanoid Pokemon. So. Something like uh, similar to like maybe Pseudo Wudo or something to that extent. It's humanoid, but it's kind of like a plant, which to me I kind of expected that. You know what I'm saying? I did expect it to be more kind of feminine like, because, you know, I mean, yeah, you know, that's what I was kind of expecting, you know? Um, or, or maybe they could do something like they did with LeChonk, because LeChonk's evolution is supposedly uh, gender specific. So, one gender is gonna kind of look or maybe be different and the other gender is gonna look or, or maybe be different. Um, but hopefully they do something cool with that too. Um, so the next one he says, this one's interesting. This one's probably one of the most interesting out of the set. He says, I can't wait until the game leakers post a, a pick of the three new Pokemon that will not be in the base game of Scarlet and Violet. So he's been talking about these three Pokemon for a minute. All right, and so essentially there are three Pokemon that aren't in the base game of Scarlet and Violet. They're going to be DLC Pokemon, kind of like, you know, Cubfu, Urshifu, you know, kind of like that. You know, how they didn't pop up in the base game, they popped up in the DLC for Sword and Shield. Uh, so I, I guess maybe the three Pokemon are going to be in the data somewhere when they data mine this, which to me feels kind of stupid because... Why would you, why are we still using these techniques that failed in the 3DS era? You know, it's understandable that they like you did that in the 3DS era because you had limitations to the 3DS. But we don't have those same limitations on the Switch. You know what I'm saying? You can do DLC. You don't have to have the data on the game initially. You can actually have all that updated in a patch when the DLC comes out. But I, I, I can't wait to see it either. So this should be interesting. Uh, so then we get into a different story from Rilla Q. So basically he says, uh, the new gym, so one gym is closed down before the story started. Uh, guess which type sucked. <laughs> and so, of course, uh, then he says, you can still see the ruins on the map. And somebody kind of uh, guessed like where the ruins might be. And I'm not quite sure if that's right or not, but it's possible though. You know what I'm saying? They kind of guess this area right here that has a battle arena, but there's no gym around it. You know what I'm saying? It could be the area, but eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking that it could be. Because then he says, um, you know, one of the Elite Four members stepped down and regained the title of, of, gym, of gym leader. No wonder the gym locations are close. And the only gym that I know that's really close to another one is in the mountains you know the one where i said one's a ghost gym and one's an ice gym you know what i'm saying so i'm thinking that that's the case and then uh pokemon uh pearl enthusiast who's been kind of balling lately you know what i'm saying I, I hadn't heard this person before but they kind of balling now though uh and it comes up and she they say uh well she was the gym leader not related with the story and then really q says former so basically we know that it's it's, it's the black lady she was a gym leader, and then I think her daughter uh, follows in her footsteps and becomes a gym leader. And I think she might be an elite four. 
But yeah, I definitely think it's gonna be those two gems in the mountains what they're talking about. All right, so then we flip over to Centro Pokemon Leaks. So Centro, um, he basically is a, um, he basically compiles all the leaks together into one, uh, usually one big thread, which is why I use, uh, I like using their Twitter, even though they don't really credit people that much. But, uh, but here we go. So uh, the following Pokemon have multiple forms. So the Parrot Pokemon or the Parakeet, I, I, last time I checked it was a Parakeet Pokemon, but maybe there was a translation issue or something. But the Parrot Pokemon is gonna have multiple forms. The Mice Family, now Mice Family is a Pokemon we saw unofficially in the, the big 15 minute trailer. And we saw them on the map. So those two mice, it's supposed to be like a family of mice that evolves into something kind of like Kangaskhan, you know, where it has the baby and the child and, and the mom, you know, something like that. Uh, we've already known that the dolphin Pokemon has multiple forms. We've already known that the box legends have multiple forms. Even though technically the box legends multiple forms aren't regular forms like you think about, their forms are, oh, look, it's the the water form where you can, you know, get on the water. They're ride forms, essentially. I don't know if you'll be able to use the specific ride forms in battle. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that affects them in battle or if it's just something that they do so you can get around. Um, Paldean Tauros, which I thought they were supposed to be different Pokemon because they all have different types. So I always thought they were supposed to be different versions of Tauros, not like... I guess you can call them different forms if you want to. And then the Dunsprat's evolution is supposed to have different forms. So that should be interesting. Hopefully they have like a, a kind of derpy Dunsprat's version. And then they have like a cool like dragon version. You know what I'm saying? So if you want it to be kind of derpy like Dunsprat, you can. Or if you want it to evolve into something cool, you can also do that, you know. Uh, the following Pokemon have gender differences, and it's had LeChonk's evolution, which we already kind of knew. Also, the engine Pokemon and the coin Pokemon have been modified by Team Star in some way. So that we kind of got in the trailer, like, because the, the engine Pokemon is part of this card that you kind of have to battle in some way, which I think that's kind of cheesy, but we'll see how it works out. All right, so then they go on to talk about the coin Pokemon. So this is also pretty interesting. So the coin, the coin Pokemon is not actually a coin in any of its evolutionary stages. It's a code name. So it's kind of like Zygarde in Zygarde Cells. So if you remember Zygarde back from like what, uh, X and Y, um, Zygarde had multiple forms, but in order to get Zygarde, you had to collect all these little Zygarde cells. And they were like these little green blobs, blobs, creatures. And you had to collect, I think it was like a hundred and some change. And once you collect them all, you can get like the full blown Zygarde. I think they're doing the same thing with this. You know, it says, however, you can still catch the first stage of the coin Pokemon in the wild. You would need to catch many of them to evolve one. So, and this more speaks to the fact that the Pokemon is probably going to be a Mimic. All right, because uh, uh, again, if you think about it, a Mimic is like a, a, tre a treasure chest that is secretly alive, you know, and in games like Dark Souls and fantasy games like that, the treasure chest will wake up and try to attack you because you opened it thinking it was a regular chest. Uh, so of course, if, you know, to get a chest Pokemon, you would need a bunch of coin Pokemon in order to do it. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. All right, so this one is the big one, as Centro says. Uh, the DLC will have a PK Hex-like features. Uh, so the ability to more directly create or customize your Pokemon, that of course does not mean all the features but at but at le at least okay at least one thing to make the perfect Pokemon easier. So when I hear this, I've never used po uh, PK Hex, but I've used Showdown though. And Pokemon Showdown, some a Pokemon Showdown like like mechanic in the game would be amazing. You know, say so even though it would take away from being able to like, you know you know, have that experience of like breeding and raising your Pokemon. Um, I, I still think it would be interesting. It would be a, a, a way easier way for people to get into competitive Pokemon battle. You know what I'm saying? And it would explain why we don't have like actual breeding in the game because you don't necessarily need breeding in the game 
if you have a mechanic that allows you to pretty much, you know, make a, a perfect Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, it will take away from the experience a little bit, but it will make competitive so much easier. Alright. Uh, now that's about it for that. Now let's get on into this Twitter shout out. Now I have no idea how to say this person's name, but they shared my video tweet for my fall 2020 anime, uh, uh, what to watch and it actually did better than the last what to watch video and that might be because of this retweet so thank you mr mystery Reese's cups mr i'm slow mr reese's cups that's <laughs> thank you mr reese's cups for uh for for sharing my video tweet uh you know what i'm saying i hope you have a great day hopefully you know what i'm saying you you are awesome wherever you are. Thank you for retweeting the video tweet. Uh, and speaking of day, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button. Do all that the YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me. Uh, drop a comment down below to help the channel grow. And as well, uh, no, <laughs> I am killing the ending of this video. As always, people, keep it real and have yourself a good day.